Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the van, one little camper tried to get as warm as he can. But all he could think of was Christmas lights and beer. He decided to head to Mauzo to bring him some cheer. But where would he park on this festive night's camp? Maybe somewhere he'd camped before that was lit by just one dim lamp. Put it away! <laughs> Alright, I'm going to pull the curtains because I'm in quite an open space here, so straight away. It's dark anyway, so it's not like we can see anything out there. Firstly, ho ho ho, Merry Christmas. I am uh, wearing my all-time favourite Christmas jumper, which is a Christmas tree. And the baubles are tribute baubles. You see that? It's my favourite jumper. Now as it is Christmas Eve, I figured I should probably go to one of the most Christmassy places in Cornwall, and that's Mauzo. And the only reason is because they always make an effort every year with their Christmas lights. So we're going to head out, have a look at the Christmas lights tonight, might get some dinner out. If all else fails, I'll just cook in the van, and then we're going to stay here overnight. And where I'm actually staying isn't actually that far away from where I was the night when somebody tried to break into the van. So this van looks less like a commercial vehicle than the last one, so I'm sure I'll be fine, but you never know. So now we start the 20 minute trek into Mauzu. I think it's gonna start raining. <laughs> Of a white Christmas, just like the ones I used to know, where those streets are listen and children listen to hear sleigh bells in the snow, the snow, for the night. Rock choir. So we've got some sort of running Santas over here. A lot's happening in Mauzu. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's only five of us. What's this in here? Yeah, just our Christmas annual Christmas lights run. We run from Penzance over to see the Mauzu lights and then we run back again. I do. <laughs> just for. Like us a picture for your YouTube channel. Would you? Yeah. Which we do watch. Do Love Sundays. Yes, we do. Love Sundays. Yeah. Yes. Thank you very much for watching. Yes. Hey. <laughs> so, I'm your boy. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Sorry, I didn't get your name. What was your name? I'm Rachel. Rachel. I'm Stuart. 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 Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Right. Right. Keep it going. Bye. Cheers. Have Best a good Christmas. That. Cheers. Everyone's so friendly. Just met some subscribers. Thank you very much, Rachel and Stuart. Lovely to meet you. Best of luck with your run. Right, I need to find somewhere to eat some food. May your days, may your days, may your days be merry and bright. So, there's quite a lot happening in Mauzo tonight, isn't there? I think that, look at, I've had a quick look in all the restaurants and pubs and everything, and they all look absolutely packed. So I'm thinking, I might go to the ship for a quick beer, and then get some food from the street food vendor I saw when I was on my way in, and then take it back to the van. Got to get something while we're here, so I figured, we'll go to the pub. So I headed to the ship in, and I bumped into more subscribers. I didn't get your name. Stephen. Stephen, I didn't get your name earlier, didn't I? Uh, Diane. Diane. They're going to buy me a beer, so, you know. Else I wouldn't have drank, honestly. <laughs> Grab, please. Yeah. That tribute. Uh, tribute, yeah, please. Tribute, please. Quick, get his bank details. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, like always, I normally have a non alcoholic beer, but for tonight, I am allowing myself one beer because of. Uh, Two beers. Because of this bad influence here, Two so beers. you know. <laughs> <laughs> One beer, honest. <laughs> <laughs>
Alright. See you next time randomly. Bye bye. <laughs> Take care, bud. So I can't go anywhere now, can I? But I was only probably in the pub for about an hour and now everywhere's gone quiet, so I'm I'm a little bit concerned that the street food place that I was talking about earlier won't be uh, won't be doing food now. But if they're not, worst case scenario, I do have lamb stew in the van. <laughs> <laughs> got it, got it. Put it away. <laughs> I don't use it as a rule. <laughs> Take care, bud. So it was just around. Yeah, oh, it's closed. It's closed. May those days, may your days, may your days be merry and bright. Ooh. And may all your Christmas is be so. I guess it looks like it's lamb stew for tea. <laughs> I'm so glad it's a it's a ring pull because uh, I don't think I've got a tin opener in this van. So do you know what? I've not put the diesel heater on once yet tonight, and to be honest, I don't actually think I need it because it's actually pretty warm. Bearing in mind this is a thick coat, and I've got a lovely Christmas jumper on as well, which is nice and warm. So the chances of me putting on the diesel heater tonight are slim, but that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna need it in the morning to warm up this space before I get out of bed. There we go. Well, that looks, that actually looks gross, doesn't it? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yummy! Right, don't judge me, but this, these are the bread rolls from last week's video. I went to St. Agnes. We'll see how they are. I mean, they still smell better than those ones that I got from when I was in Nuki that time and they were sour. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it, I'm gonna eat one. It's essential to have backup tins in your van for evenings like tonight where you've not got anything planned of what you're gonna cook and you're gonna plan on, on going to Mauzo and have dinner out and then it turns out that you can't actually do that. So you just come back, you can have a stew, you can have a pot noodle or whatever's in the van and uh, it saves you going hungry. But as it's Christmas and I am wearing this uh, lovely Christmas jumper, I am gonna have a tribute this evening. It's not alcohol free, but at the end of the day, I'm not going anywhere, so cheers. Nice. Hmm. Yeah, that bread that bread tastes fine. It's really nice like bumping into people that watch these videos because you know I, I, I spend so much time making them and everything and you don't really normally get a lot of feedback but it's not until you actually meet people that actually watch your videos and they tell you little stories about how much they enjoy watching them and how it encourages them to to do things themselves that's when it gets really rewarding so it's been a nice evening a couple of people that really enjoy my work and it makes everything worthwhile. See, I do occasionally do the washing up in this van. You just don't normally get to see it. I'm just gonna pop the diesel heater on for half an hour before I go to bed, just to, just to warm up the space. It's not cold in here, but 
it could be a little bit warmer. I mean, it's getting warm. I mean, some people would say that that ticking is annoying, but the thing is, once the diesel heater actually properly warms up, the fan noise pretty much just dies down and then you just hear the ticking, but I'll put up with anything rather than be cold, so it's absolutely fine. There we go, it's sort of quietening down now, just simmering down. It's kicking out a nice amount of heat. This van is now officially a 12 month a year van. Time for bed. Oh. Oh. For the record, I didn't actually finish all that kind of tribute. You know, like when you just don't have a taste for it. But anyway, I'll, uh, I'll see you in the morning. Good night. It's nice to see a bit of daylight. So now that it's daytime, I can probably show you a little bit around more of where I stayed last night. And just looking around, I mean, I know that this fence was here to protect people from probably getting too close to this fence, but the thing that I didn't notice, right, and it's because it was dark when I was walking to Mauser last night, was that the fence here is absolutely destroyed. So, That has definitely seen better days, but it, maybe it was destroyed in some of the storms we've had or something, but yeah, bit of an eyesore, isn't it? Diesel here, you can, you can hear something's going on from under the wheel arch here, but there's no way, real way of knowing exactly that it's a diesel heater and that there's probably someone staying in there. My tires are filthy. Now, it is this time of the day that I would normally have a coffee and have breakfast, and I am going to do that. But we're going to head over to Mara's Iron because I really want some breakfast. I think it's probably because I didn't have a substantial meal last night, so I have woke up a little bit hungry. So let's head over to Mara's Iron. All right. It's a beautiful morning. I need fuel again. And it's closed. <laughs> Welcome to Cornwall at Christmas time. What am I gonna do? I could have a pot noodle for breakfast, or I could just park here and make myself a coffee. Hmm. Not even any signs about opening times, is there? Let's park up and have a coffee.
that's really hot. Look at my hair. It's proper bed hair this is. For anyone that says that I don't stay in my van overnight, this is the evidence. <laughs> Something really, really positive happened to me the other day. Somebody reached out to me and they've invited me to a screening of a surf film. They have offered me tickets to give to you. So the movie's called Groundswell. It's a, it's a big wave surf film. It's coming to the Poly in Falmouth on the 9th of February. And I'm gonna be giving away two lots of two tickets to my subscribers. So if you wanna be entered to win, leave an emoji in the comments of two surfers. Okay, not one, that's two. But you have to be available in Falmouth on the 9th of February to be able to enter because otherwise, you know, you're not gonna be able to attend. I'll be announcing two winners in January and each winner will get two tickets so that it means that you can just bring your partner or friend or whoever you wanna bring. And as I will be going as well, you will be essentially accompanying me. So the four of you will be coming alongside with me. We'll all sit together and we can watch the film together. Now, if you don't wanna run the risk of possibly not winning, I will link it below so you can actually buy tickets as well, but I can't guarantee that they'll be next to me or near me or anything, but I will be, I will be at the event essentially. So two surfer emojis in the comments if you wanna be entered to win. The screening starts at 7.30. I will be getting there at 7, so that's sort of the plan, we'll meet at 7. And uh, so whoever's going to win, I'll, I'll see you there. But now, I'm going to enjoy my coffee and enjoy that view. Right, well, I'm going to head home. Thank you to everyone that's bought me a beer through the link in the description. Merry Christmas to everybody. I hope you've all been very good girls and boys and that Father Christmas gives you everything that you deserve. I'm gonna say deserve because people don't always get everything they ask for, do they? And I'll see you in the next video, which will be New Year's Eve, won't it? Wow. And then 2024. Yeah, next week's video will be the last video of the year. Crazy. I s Fuel again. All right. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Cheers. In the new